Time to catch up with uh, Stevie Butler, writes all the fantastic articles for the West Australian. You know him uh, well. Good morning to you, Stephen. Yes, good morning, guys. Uh, look, I was a bit apprehensive about an invite I got from Nathan once. <laughs> 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 but you just went with it, didn't you? Did you? <laughs> well, I did. It was, to a, it was to a restaurant in Adelaide, and I was a bit apprehensive about all that, <laughs> where that was leading. But in the end... I got there and there was Amy, Nathan and that as well. So yeah. it wasn't really what I, what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I know. It was a bit more surprising when he turned up to the sausage party I invited yeah. him to, though. Um, he came <laughs> right. along. But Should have know, seen him with a little loaf of bread in his hand. <laughs> I, I, I have nothing I have on, like, literally though. nothing on. I'm, yeah. I'm quite adaptable, though. Uh, <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> Uh, you are, Stephen. Now, another big weekend of sport, obviously. Let's start with the footy. Um, if you want to know how to ruin a Friday night, watch Fremantle. <laughs> I don't think they've won a Friday what night happened? game in a long time. What happened? Well, it was I, awful. I missed a few of the results on the weekend. Did anyone of our teams win on the weekend? <laughs> oh, that'll be mine then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your team's pathetic. Let's not even talk about them. I know they're oh. on the weekend, but God, give me strength. I don't know anything about this or, or all this. Are they in contention? No. 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 Well, what's no the point they of did have a win. They did have a win. Ah, give up then. Anyone got any sour grapes at all? <laughs> I don't have any. No, look, I, yep. Fremantle were pretty disappointing, weren't they? Oh. I mean, it was a game that they could really come out. I actually thought, half thought going into that game that Melbourne were ready to make a statement on the ground that they won their premiership on last yeah. you know, first one for a million years last year. And I thought this is a real danger one for Fremantle. I just, you know, Petrarca hadn't played well last time and he was up for a big one. And it just, all the ducks were in a row for Melbourne to really go mad and they did. And the pressure was relentless and Fremantle didn't handle it. And now they're in a pretty precarious position compared to where they were a few weeks ago with, you know, top four at their grasp. Mm. So... Yeah, it's, uh, it was this point. It's an interesting one, Sean, to see how they can turn it around, actually, Fremantle, I reckon. Well, I don't know how you do that. So you've got to change the <laughs> team, obviously. And when you change the team, it also takes a bit of time f- for people to gel and find their feet. Yeah. Yep. So there'll be a num- there, there has to be a number of changes. But you and don't that, have, they time, don't have to, time. You don't yeah. have time. You've got to this point of the year. Mm. And this game against the Western Bulldogs on Saturday, um, it, it's super, super important to try to get some kind of traction. I just can't even... And they're starting to play pretty well, the Western yeah. Bulldogs, too. They're showing some pretty good form. And, you know, oh. when, when people are yelling out about, like, let's, let's drop Taberner and let's put in Tracy, and, but exactly what you say, you know, yeah. their brand has been built around the players that have been in there and they've been quite successful until recent weeks. So what do you actually do? Well, can you not do, like, um, uh, an intensive week of trust falls and um, yeah. various team-building exercises, you know, when you get a plank of wood and, and some rope and you have to build a fort and then yeah. work out how to get out of it? Make a bridge out of I, straws. I think it's a great idea. Steve, you're <laughs> not sure where in the schedule you're going to find time to get to the Nanga Bush camp up there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we used to do it at the Fresh Air League in Esperance. <laughs> <laughs> I said the student council would go to Bond. It's a lovely spot. It's right across the road from the beach. It's really nice. Right near the trampolines. Uh, what was it called? <laughs> the Fresh, fresh Air League. League. <laughs> so where the, where the little goldfields mine kids would yeah, come down yeah. to get some fresh yeah, air. We'd say in the dorms. Uh, yeah, like Nagel Bush Camp was mine, but it's that's a, It's great. a youth oh, hostel now. That. Yeah. Excellent. yeah, Still there. Uh, moving on to the West Coast Pretty. Eagles now, Steve. I'd imagine... I would imagine probably tomorrow at the latest, um, Josh Kennedy will have a press conference about his future and the fact that he's hanging up the boots. Well, it sounds that way. Chairman Russell Gibbs uh, mentioned on the weekend that they were preparing to, for a big send-off for Josh Kennedy this weekend against Adelaide. So it's going to be awkward be if he doesn't retire. <laughs> well, yeah, it is, definitely. Well, but when you look at it, I mean, Fremantle will have the home derby uh, the week after and then, and then West Coast are away. So it's the ideal time to properly celebrate what, who has been a magnificent servant of the club. Mm. Let's, um, let's all face it, he's an even better bloke than he is a footballer. Yeah, and that's he's a thing. So he's an absolute champion. He's a credit to his family and his region up there in the north, uh, in the Great Northern. And, uh, you know, I, I would presume he'd go off reasonably quietly into the next part of life, but there'll be something for Josh Kennedy somewhere that he'll do. And I don't think we have heard the last of him, but, gee, he's been an absolute ornament to the game. And, and when people were querying the trade back in the day where, where West Coast got Chris Marston and Tony Knott and Josh Kennedy for Chris Judd, well, it's yeah, it's a pretty decent West Coast, hasn't it? They yeah, were all out for that. Yeah, 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 that yeah. is a great bargain. Was that yeah. a Groupon? Yeah. What was that? Yeah. That was a Groupon, I believe, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Hey, um, Steve. So um, it's uh, amazing when you think of it in that perspective, yeah, really. Is, but yeah, I, 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 I couldn't wish him better. I mean, he's an absolute champion and of a bloke, and uh, he's, he's given a lot of people a lot of joy over a long period of time. Hey, um, yeah, Steve, agree. we've all been loving the um, Commonwealth Games. Um, we earlier on there was talking about um, uh, the 3x3 basketball that mm. Greg Corr and Jesse Wagstaff are playing. What do, you, what do you think about that? Ten minutes, Steve. Ten minutes and it's done. <laughs> Has Greg Corr dyed his hair? No. Why? 
just to look a bit young there. Or, <laughs> I, I just got a little bit of a salt and pepper going. Yeah. Well, it's really interesting yeah. because um, uh, I think there's um, – Greg's 34, um, another one of his teammates is 34, another guy that they were playing um, uh, the other no- other night, that he, they're 38. Yeah, I think so Jesse's 35 30s, or 36. Yeah, so it's not a young man's sport. Yeah, it's not a young man's sport. <laughs> well, they're, they're absolutely telling. And some of their, I watched some of their games. It's been absolutely amazing to watch. Yeah. It's fast-paced and it's exciting. And look, I covered the basketball of the Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast and Australia were just dominating left, right and centre. So this is a lot more interesting and Yes. And uh, explosive, so it's good to watch. But I'll tell you what, the Commonwealth Games have been something, haven't they? Love triangles in the pool, box oh. in the crowd, mm. mums yeah. winning marathons. Yeah. I mean, it's got everything, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it so has. So good. Yeah, it's it has. amazing. Um, and, West and, Australian's and, doing well and, all across yeah, the board. Maddie Di Rosario, who won the, yeah. won the oh, wheelchair oh, marathon, and her. her wheelchair's held together with cable ties. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh, no, she's winning on a busted wheelchair. That's yeah. how she is. I mean, yeah. that's, and, and that smile when she left the rip is yeah. just... You can't help but feel She's an extraordinary athlete, isn't she? No. And she's And she's racing on the track as well. Yeah. And to see her sort of come through the, the finish line of that marathon into the arms of Louise Sauvage, who oh. we all love as well. Yeah, a couple that, of great That was a you. very special moment, I reckon. Absolutely, Steve. Well this, done, mate. This show's held together with the cable ties. <laughs> 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 and, 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 I, and I nearly break them. But uh, look, I, I think if, if, if the time difference for the Commonwealth Games are a bit uh, difficult, I must say, but there's 24-hour coverage on the west.com.au. Our reporter's yep. doing a great job. So if you want to catch up on stuff, you can see it there, and also obviously on Seven Plus and Seven, seven Broadcast. Super Channel, so plug. Oh, Look at you plug. go. Who do you work well, for? Well, you know, it's worth it. It's worth watching. No, I work for them, and it's worth watching. And, and you know, I think we all love to see them do that. Well, we've won forty-two medals in in three days. Yeah. And I think we're I think we're very proud of what our, our athletes. We are. Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering why you're walking funny. It's because you're full of plugs. <laughs> <laughs> Pussy uh, Willow. I did that now, I reckon, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take a seat down. Oh, no, sorry, you can't. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Thanks, Steve. We'll catch up yeah. next week. Good man. <laughs> this is Nathan, Matt and Sean. God, there was so much happening on the weekend with sport. Just overnight, though, just going to start off with um, the women's football between England and... And Germany played in front of 87,192 people, right? So that's the biggest crowd they've had at Wembley Stadium Mm -hmm. in a Euros, men or women's. That's amazing. And And this is in the middle of the Commonwealth Games as well when there's a bit bit of other sport going on. Wow. It's amazing. That is huge. That's fantastic, actually. Fantastic news. Um, (laughs) Fantastic. uh, Yeah. Yeah. Super excited about it, as you can see. In the uh, Formula One, obviously, Max Verstappen got the victory. You might have heard that in the news already. He started from 10th on the grid. Amazing. he was going super quick. I feel sorry for for Charles Leclerc, who was driving his car, and he got to the lead uh, after lap 30, and things were looking really good. Okay, exciting stuff. But then his team got on the uh, blower, and they said, oh, come in, we're going to change the tyres, mm. tyre oh, no. change, and we're going to go with the hard compound, that. And a pram wheel. <laughs> it seems that <laughs> Something way off the wheelie bin. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as they changed his tyres to the hard compound, all, he went backwards. Oh, Everyone else started going, oh, going forwards. No. And it's sliding like, down. Oh, your team. What a bad call, uh, yeah, the that snow was. tire chains on it. Yeah, exactly. Like, ah, it's not snowing, you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, over to the Commonwealth Games, we know that Emma McKeon's become the all-time greatest Amazing. ever gold medal winner for Australia. Um, she's overtaken the great Ian Thorpe, the great Liesl Jones, and, and Susie, Susie O'Neill, O'Neill mm. as well. Wow. So she's also that's great. Amazing. She's great, Emma McKeon <laughs> winning that, but... I guess for all of us as well, apart from the fact that uh, she's a superstar um, and has been enormously successful through her career, we're all getting caught up to a degree in her relationship status and what effect that's having on Cole Chalmers, which we've read about in the paper and seen him interviewed, and Cody Simpson to a lesser extent, but I'm sure him being in the spotlight over these questions getting asked, he'd rather just be swimming like everyone else. I don't dig well, it. Well, they're trying to beat it up, and there's Cole Chalmers is saying, stop it, there's no story you know here. I don't think it's even fine. us talking about it right, right yeah. now, but let's just move on. I know, It's not exactly. a story. Everyone said it's not a story. Let them. They don't want us to talk about it. Let's not let's talk, not talk about, about it. Let's exactly. not talk about it. Exactly. Yeah, fair call. Fair call, absolutely. Yeah, so hopefully they're left alone to do what they do best. Yeah. And we can see some more success well, out of those guys. World record this morning for the women's 4x2 relay. Extraordinary. That's extraordinary. They do it all the time. I know. And I think maybe we kind of get used to it. So yes. we don't have a lot of fanfare yeah. for it because they just do it yeah. continually. Yeah. But they're ex- they are. They're amazing. We watched a bit of the gymnastics over the weekend um, at <laughs> mum and dad's house and... Um, and Dad was just sitting at the table drinking beer while we all decided whose outfit we liked the best. Sure, sure. <laughs> but also, you really become very judgmental in certain sports because mm. you go, oh, I wouldn't have chosen that song. No. Um, <laughs> one chick, she, she did like a like a piano version of Smooth Criminal. It's like, oh. Mm. 
That's oh, not interesting. That's okay. not right for the routine on the floor. No. Yeah, yeah. Look, are you an idiot? There's so many songs in the world. Why'd you choose that? <laughs> now it's a good point. Like you can't do gymnastics and you're very but but you've got ears and when you hear that, you know, yeah. you, you can judge. That letter you literally judge. is not even a good rendition of that. And also Michael Jackson, very divisive. Yeah, that's yes, true. I it's a great line. Line. children around doing athletics. Yeah, and I think we've gymnastics. I think we've probably moved on, haven't we? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> hey, and finally just to wrap things up, we should hear from Josh Kennedy about him announcing his retirement in the next two days. I'd imagine next forty eight hours. He will do that and he'll well, be Well, since everybody his last said it's game. his last game's going to be played this weekend, he's kind of like backed against the wall, yeah, really, yes, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do really feel like um, when you announce your retirement, you should do it from a porch and a rocking chair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, with like a banjo. <laughs> He's doing some whittling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm retiring. <laughs> Uh, it is Such a interesting a time though when he yeah. so when he announces his retirement and he finishes up with the Eagles, um, then he goes on to do whatever he does in his next phase yeah. next year, right? Yeah. Everyone will start talking to him like he's a young person again. Yeah, he's that's been right, through this whole mixed yeah. emotions. Yeah. Every it's time weird. a foot- footballer retires, do you get frightened for your job? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. Because they're outside circling, oh, Sean. That's right. JK will oh, no. be doing bog laps we've, around the building. Well, and and we've been interviewing a few. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, that might be the game. It's one. weird that JK thing's weird because they w- obviously want to give him big fanfare at a home game. But the yes. week after that is a derby. Yeah, which is a home game. It's, it's not, yeah, it's not an Eagles home game, so it's not the Eagles crowd. But he'll still be playing in that, right? He will be playing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it's not, his swan song isn't his, really his swan song. Just in front of him. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Nathan, Matt and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.